Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's problem 17. In the, the diagram represents a process used to modify bacterial cells. So there's bacterial DNA, which is circular sometimes, uh, and in this case it is. Uh, then some arrow uh, is meaning some process is done with X as the cause of the process. And then we see that there's a piece missing from the DNA. And then that plus another piece of foreign DNA, which we colored gray to represent its foreign DNA, uh, gets acted upon by something Y, and that produces a circular strand of DNA which has a separate gene other than what was there before, or a separate set of uh, genetic code. So in the diagram, the arrows labeled X and Y represent the use of clones, receptors, genes, or enzymes. So definitely pause the video, try the problem, make sure to make a guess on this question before you see the R solution. So um, let's see if we go, I, I always like going from top down one at a time. So let's see the first one, clones. Uh, clones is, is the process of producing, producing identical copies of cells. Okay. Copies of cells. That's why, for example, if you clone an animal, you use an identical copy of a cell from the parent uh, animal, and then you make that co that cell into a copy of the original uh, animal. Uh, so that's not what's going on here because you, we're not actually producing identical copies of anything here. Uh, so that's not it. Receptors. Uh, what receptors are? Receptors are uh, detectors of hormones. They detect hormones. And other and other chemicals, uh, but um, for example, sugars. Uh, but they, they that's not what's going on here. We're not detecting a chemical any at all. We're actually splitting DNA into two parts. The next one, genes. Uh, that one seems plausible, but understand that this might be a gene. Um, and each of these blocks might be genes. Okay. Um, but X and Y do not represent genes. Okay, X and Y represent something that causes a chromosome, a circular chromosome to split. Okay, so that's not it. So enzyme is the only thing left, and that's the correct answer. So what is an enzyme? An enzyme is a very large protein. Usually uh, for, for chemistry class, uh, an enzyme can be... Uh, just a chemical, but in biology, you know, chemicals don't really do much for in terms of catalyzing reactions in the body, uh, in any animal or any living thing. Usually, uh, our reactions are catalyzed by by very large proteins. Okay, proteins which act as enzymes for very large and very complex molecules. So uh, that's what an enzyme is, and that makes sense, because an enzyme would come in and break up the DNA. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're watching for one of our playlists, hit the fast forward button to start the next video right now. If not, go to youtube.com, search for juantutors.com, click on the name, and definitely hit the subscribe button, and click on the bell if you want to receive notifications when we post new videos, and scroll to the bottom. All of our playlists are gonna be right at the bottom. Just click on the appropriate playlist and play all the videos from there. And if you feel like you need a little extra boost of tutoring, go to our website, check out our testimonials. And if you feel like we're right for you, you can click on the Contact Us link and contact us straight from the page. Thanks for watching.